Welcome to Fine Arts. Today we are going to make Abraham Lincoln. For this project I used watercolors, crayons, and a sharpie. Get your paper, get your um, sharpie, and we will start. First thing I would do, we're going to put a border on your paper, so draw a straight line down, straight line across, Straight line down, straight line across. Put your name on the bottom right hand corner. Every artist should sign their artwork. Okay, to start with um, Abraham Lincoln, we're going to start with the hat. And he um, wore a very tall black hat. So you see that this is a rectangular shape. So kind of at the top, we're going to start with um, across, down, across, making it a very tall rectangle. Then we're going to come out to the side, to the right, to the left, and then we're going to come down just a little bit, come down, and then we're going to connect those all the way across for his top hat. Okay, and then for his face, this is a cartoon character of Abraham Lincoln. So we're going to um, do a U shape for his face. There we go. And um, in the middle of his face, we're going to do um, a two dots for eyes. One, two, and we're going to do a nose. We're going to come down, it looks like the letter L, come down and to the right. Then we're going to do a smile, okay? And then under his eyes, we're going to do um, like a little arc to the right, a little arc to the left, and we're going to give him a little bit of a forehead. So we're just going to draw a line across, okay? And then on his um, face, we want to add some hair. So we're going to kind of just do some curls. He had kind of, um, there we go, not really filling it all in, and over here, some curls, there we go. We want to add some ears so it looks like the letter C, so we're going to go to the right and then do another little tiny C. We're going to do the same thing on the other side, to the left and then a backward C, okay? And then he had a very big beard, so we're kind of going to fill this in a little bit wavy down here like a beard, and then we're going to come down, this is the fun part, and we're going to kind of make it um, swirly. We're going to kind of make some swirls here, leaving in some white, filling that in, and I'm just kind of making some zigzags. There we go for his big beard. Okay. All right. Then, um, so his head is kind of bigger because this is a cartoon for Abraham Lincoln. We're going to come down and do his suit, so we're going to come down to angle down angle down, and then we're going to connect these two all the way across, kind of like that. Okay, then we have two legs coming down, so one and then two. Two lines down, maybe we'll put a line here in the middle. Okay, and then he does have um, some arms, so we're going to come, this arm here comes down, and then to the right, we're going to do um, a little line across to give it some more character and then we're going to do a curve there we go for his hand and then he's carrying his papers so we're going to do another sideways rectangle like this and maybe we're going to put some zigzag lines on here like they're important papers okay now this side over here we're going to do the same thing on the left so we're going to come down and then angle in another line for texture and then another curl. And then he's wearing a suit, so we wanted to start with his bow tie. So we're going to do a circle, and then we're going to do a line. Uh, actually, inside the circle, we're going to do like a V. So we're going to come down a long V. So there's one, two, like the letter V, and then the bow tie is going to come on out. So it's going to go one, two, so that's part of the bow tie, and then one, two. Maybe we'll add a line here, add a line there. OK, 
Okay, now this part of his suit comes down, and then this side is going to make a triangle. So we go down and across. There we go. And this side is down and across. And we're going to fill this part in. Black. Cute. Okay, and then we're going to do another little triangle here. A little tiny tri and a triangle here. We're going to fill that in. There we go. Looks like he's wearing a suit. Okay, um, now we also want to, oh, I'm going to kind of curl this here so, we, so it kind of covers up his hair. Um, I did the American flag behind it, but you can do it however you want. So over here, we're, we're going to do a straight line and we're going to come across. And then I'm going to add some stars. And for this project, I just did all different sizes of stars because we can't fit 50. So just add as many as you want. Have fun with it. And there's another little one here. And there's one over here. Okay. All right, and then the stripes. Um, I actually fit 13 stripes on it, so let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve lines across. And they're kind of curved. So we're gonna start right here. So we're gonna do one, two, three, four, and then this one over here, five, comes across, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now, if we did it right, there's thirteen stripes. One, two, three. 13, yes, okay. Now, um, the next thing I did was I got my crayons and I added a little bit of detail. So I'm gonna grab my blue crayon and to keep these white, I'm gonna come around the outside of these, um, or I'm gonna just go around these white stars with blue so that I keep the blue paint in the blue section, okay? And I kinda did this similar project with the American, uh, the bald eagle pro project. Okay. Okay, there we go. Then I'm going to grab my red crayon and I'm going to um, outline some of these so I keep the red paint. So I'm going to outline this section with crayon to keep the red paint in that section. And then that's going to be white, so this will be red. This one will be white, so the next one will be red. And this one across matches this one. Next one is white, so this is red. And you don't have to do the crayon step, but it helps with the paint. Or you can do markers, okay, that's white. And you're welcome to pause this video if I'm going too fast. Okay, the last thing I want is the black. So I'm gonna add some um, lines to the hat, up and down, and across. Maybe I'm gonna outline this hat also to keep the black paint in. Just do the border. And then the hair, I'm gonna add some black um, 
lines, curls to the hair. There we go. And then I'm going to outline this um, suit that he's wearing. Get your paints, we're ready to, to go for it. start with a little bit of orange so wake up the orange and today I'm going to be doing color mixing so I'm going to put the orange on the palette okay then I'm going to wake up my brown which is down at the bottom okay I'm going to mix the brown and the white brown and the orange and add more water Till you get it the color you want, the color of skin tone. Okay, and then I'm going to notice I did his face and his hands and his ears. Okay, we could just paint right over. Abraham Lincoln, he's my favorite uh, president because he was six foot four, super tall. Mr. Paseas is six foot four. And he used to put his papers in his top hat to remember things, which I thought was hilarious because I write everything down just like he does. Okay, cute. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is the, let's do the blue. Wake up your blue. Oops, and see what I just did? <laughs> Try not to smear <laughs> the face. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna keep my arm up. stars white. And you could turn your paper if that helps. I'm keeping it this way because I'm videoing. Okay. Uh, next thing I'm going to do, there's in the bow tie, I did a little bit of blue and red. 
but you can do it however you want. I think I might just make the, the bow tie blue since there's so much red. It's right here. Then I'm going to wake up my black, which is at the top, and I'm going to fill in the suit. Is black also. You can take it and go all the way across, all the way down. Also, his hair was really dark, so um, we could use some black mixed with a little bit of brown, kind of mix those together, it's like a black brown, and kind of fill that in. And also on his beard. Last thing is the stripes. So wake up your red. And I would start at the top so you don't smear it. I got a lot of water in there, so I could take a brush and pick up some of that water to pick it up and then let it dry and I'll add more after. And if your red is looking pink, you could add a little orange to it. It's not the right color. Or you can do more than one coat.
black spot I missed. black in your paint, just clean it off. Okay, hope you had fun in fine arts today. Until next time, bye.